Luroy's Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Walkthrough, Part 21. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, and we are here in Verdant Turf Town. Now, this area is completely optional. It was mandatory back in the original Ruby and Sapphire, but this time around, you don't actually have to come here. I'm doing it anyways, just for the sake of completion, and before I get started with Verdant Turf Town, let's go ahead and give a shout out to Ross Inglis. And if you want a shout out in the next video, all you have to do is leave a comment. And let's get started with the Mart here, always a good place to uh, kick off a new city or town in. Um, now, this person at the top here will sell you Pokeballs, I'm not really too interested. She has a, he or she has a variety of different Pokeballs. I'm going to go ahead and start off by selling some items. You guys might remember I got a couple of Nuggets um, a couple of videos ago. And Nuggets are worth a lot of money. It's always a good idea to sell your items, guys. There's always a bunch of worthless items that just take up bag space and they'll pretty much buy anything that you have. It's like, it's, it's like a pawn shop, basically. You can sell all your items. And now that you've beaten the third gym leader, Watson, there are some new items you can buy at the Mart. Um, notably, they have max repels now. However, super repels only are 50 less steps than max repels, and they're way cheaper, so super repels are the best bang for your buck. I would buy those. And with that said, let's get out of the mart and check out the rest of the stuff here in Verdant Turf. Um, I got, I'm gonna get on my bike really quick. You guys might remember in the last episode, I stopped in this little area, and I found the Mawalite, which is... The item you need to Mega Evolve your Mawile, if you may have caught one in Omega Ruby. One thing I forgot is that there's a hidden item right here. It's a repel. Nothing super fancy, but at some point in your life, you're going to be happy that you got it. So, let's go ahead and grab that. And back in Verdant Turf. Um, now, this house right here. there, There's absolutely nothing in that house. Don't go over there. But you might want to check out Wanda's house. Um, now, we haven't met Wanda yet, but you might recognize this bald dude. Remember this bald dude from Mauville? Um, we've talked to this guy before. This is Wally's uncle, and he says Wally's gone because he's... You know, after I beat Wally, he decided he's going to go train and become a Pokemon master. So we won't see Wally for a while. And Now, this lady, this is Wanda. She really serves no purpose right now, but she mentions um, this dude that's digging a huge tunnel in the cave. So we'll get to that cave in just a moment, but for now, I want to uh, talk to this little girl. This abandoned little girl who apparently does not have a home. She, she's a hobo on the streets of Verdant Turf, and she mentions that she lost her shroomish behind a sign. And this is the biggest sign in the town right here, Verdant Turf Town. The windswept highlands with the sweet fragrance of grass. And this is where you're going to find her shroomish. Um, this doesn't happen if you just you know, read the sign. This only happens if you talk to the girl first and then go read the sign. But yeah, you find her shroomish and she's super grateful. Even though she's a hobo, she's gonna give you a reward. Yeah, let me uh, give you this as a thanks. It's the Intriguing Stone. So the Intriguing Stone has no use to us, but there's actually something that you can do with it and we'll cover that in just about a minute here. Um, there's a... Uh, by the way, there's a house right here that you can go ahead and check out. One of, like, the three houses. Shut up, dog! Sorry, dog is barking. Uh, this lady right here, she will rate the happiness. This dog is so loud. Okay, I think we're clear. The dog is not barking. It's okay, I love you, Riff Raff. Uh, that lady will rate the happiness of your Pokemon. Whatever, big deal. She hasn't done anything important. What about you, Mr. Other Homeless Man here? This guy's gonna mention some volcanic ash. And of course, he's referring to Mount Chimney, which is uh, an area we're gonna view pretty soon. Um, but by the way, what are you doing here, man? Find yourself a hotel room or something. You can't just live on the streets all day. What about you, kid? See that cave by the Pokemart? There's a guy who's trying to bust up the boulders so he can burst through the other side. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about this cave that people are trying to get through and I'm thinking I might just have to check it out I don't care about the Pokemon contest all I want to go back into the rust turf tunnel you guys might remember that way earlier in the game after we got our first gym badge we checked out the um, left side of the rust turf tunnel and we fought a team aqua dude but you know the overall the 
ruster tunnel was closed off because of these boulders that we couldn't get through. And now we can use Rock Smash and we can break through to the other side. Um, but yeah, while we're at it, we have this one hiker dude in here. Hiker Mike, which uh, should be pretty easy for Lombre to take care of. Give him a good old-fashioned Mega Drain for the four times effectiveness with the same type attack bonus. Not to mention I also have the Miracle Seed attached to Lombre, so that's just complete overkill on that Geodude right there. And now we also have a Machop. Now Machop was one of those Pokemon that was pretty frustrating for me because I just got a Flying type to, you know, get a super effective hit on, on Fightings, but uh, you know, Machops are getting a little bit easier for me now. Um, even without Aerial Ace or some type of super effective move, I'm still able to take care of the job. I did mention that my next Pokemon is going to be a Psychic type, so I'm not worried about Fightings. I'm going to get my next Psychic type pretty soon in the game. And with that said, Green Marine is up to level 20. I think all my Pokemon are at level 20 right now. And I'm going to learn the move Water Sport. You know what Water Sport does? It weakens the power of fire type moves. And you know who can learn Water Sport? Water type Pokemon. Who are already resistant to fire type Pokemon. So why would you ever waste your time using the move? It's ridiculous. All right, now let me go ahead and spray some repel here. Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not trying to run into wild Pokemon. And by wild Pokemon, we're talking about Whismur. Now, if you wanted to catch a Whismur, you probably should have done it a long time ago in the game. If you're trying to do it right now, sorry, they're only at level 8. Now, there's a little secret area here, Route 116, where you're gonna, you're gonna find this bug catcher guy. He says, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Well, it just so happens that I have a dowsing machine that I got from my good friend May, and pretty quickly here I'm gonna find the the black glasses, which I can only assume are the glasses that this guy's talking about. Now the black glasses, um, apparently they do two things. They they boost the power of dark type moves by 20%, and apparently they also let this bug catcher have decent vision. Um, but you know what? I really don't feel like giving the bug catcher his glasses back. Yeah, sure, he's gonna have to go through a whole ordeal of going back to the eye doctor, getting a new prescription, but I'd rather just put it on my Mighty Anna, who's a dark type. Yeah, what do you gotta say about that? I dropped my glasses, can you help me find them? Eh, I can't find them anywhere. Maybe they're not around here. So now this guy is basically blind for the rest of his life, and he's never gonna realize that we took the black glasses. So that's nice, and there's one more item you can grab up here. And it is an HP up, which is a great item. It'll boost your HP effort values. I will definitely use that. Um, yeah, I had to take the Quick Claw off of my Diana to give him the dark glasses, the black glasses, I mean, but that's okay because um, recently being evolved, my Diana is actually going to outspeed a lot of Pokemon I'm going to be running into for a while. And of course, I'm going to spray some more Repel to get through the rest of this cave. Let's not forget, we still have the rest of the Rust Turf Tunnel here. There's a Max Ether. Go ahead and grab it. It's right there in front of you. You might as well do it. And you might remember this little beautiful, adorable couple here. They are madly, deeply in love, but there's these huge boulders blocking their way. So you have to use Rock Smash which we can now use after beating the Gym Leader Watson. I mean, come on! Is, was it really that hard for you guys to see each other? Like, you could easily just hop over the rock. There's, there's some room in between. You could, you know, you could ease your way in there. But no, I have to use Rock Smash for these people to see each other. Now, this guy's going to give you the Agronite, which is an item to Mega Evolve your Agron if you so happen to go catch an Aeron back in Duford. Now, in the old games, this guy would give you the HM for Strength, which was actually kind of nice, and it made this a mandatory spot to um, go to in the game. Well, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you don't have to do it, but I mean, won't you just feel awful if you aren't able to reunite these lovers? Um, so yeah, you just get the Aggro Knight, and what I think is funny is usually when you use Rock Smash in Pokemon, the boulders reappear when you come back, but in this one particular spot, these boulders are gone forever. So I, I was the man that was the one to connect the tunnel between Rustboro and Verdant Turf. All this time, no one ever did it. Now, there's some hidden item over here. I know this because I have the Dazzling Machine. And apparently I missed this the first time I came into this tunnel and 
I just can't seem to find this item. Like, where is it? Am I stupid or... Alright, did May give me some outdated version of the dowsing machine? Did I not get the updates? What is this? What is this? Like the iPod 3 or something? Alright, so I'm gonna get a dire hit. I think I was just stupid. I couldn't figure it out. Alright, I don't need the dire hit, but whatever. I, I just had to find that item, man. It was bugging me. Okay, so remember Route 116? Um, I'm gonna use another repel to get through here, and I'm gonna go back to Rustboro City. Because remember that one guy, Mr. Stone, who made me do all those things for him? I had to, like, battle Team Aqua and get the Devon parts back and deliver this letter to Steven, and I had to run all over the map, man. I had to do so much stuff for Mr. Stone. So I'm gonna go back up there, I'm gonna march right up to his desk and tell him, Mr. Stone, I've been taking care of all these favors for you. Like, give me an item, do something for me, man. So let's see what Mr. Stone has to offer. Um, you know, let's go ahead. Mr. Stone, what's going on? What do you gotta say? Ooh, that's an intriguing stone you have. Yeah, I just got this intriguing stone. Oh, and it looks like he has a, he has a Pidgeotite? And, oh, he's gonna give me the, the Pidgeotite. Wow, that's great, man, thanks. Now I can Mega Evolve my Pidgeot, but Dude, you can't even catch Pidgey in this game. How am I gonna make use of this item? And you just took the intriguing stone from me. This crazy rare stone that is. You didn't even give me a yes or no option. You just straight took it away from me and you just gave me this worthless Pidgeotite that I can't even use. Dude, oh my god, Mr. Stone, you suck, man. You absolutely suck. You, you just took my intriguing stone and you... You know what, guys? I, I'm tired of this. I'll see you in a second. Alright, I, I was getting flustered, guys, I need to take a breather, but we're back here in the Rust Earth Tunnel. Screw Mr. Stone, man, I'm never talking to that guy again, I'm never doing another favor for him again. Let's just get out of here, this whole area is optional anyways, what am I even doing in Vernon Turf Town? Let's get back to the main storyline, which is gonna be in Mauville City. Now, there's actually a couple things we can do right now. Um, we can head north, use Rock Smash, and make our way towards the next city, next gym badge, but let's not forget, we also have the Cycling Road and the brand new um, Trick House Maze. So there is a little bit of stuff we can do, and I do want to cover everything in this game, guys. So, oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, snap! We got Team Aqua! And they're headed to Mount Chimney. Oh, yeah, so right before you head north out of Mauville, you're going to see Team Aqua. You're going to see what they're up to. And we've been hearing a lot about this Mount Chimney place. So yeah, like I was saying, if we want, we can head north, progress with the storyline after Team Aqua, but uh, there is some stuff to do um, if we backtrack from Mauville. So guys, next time we'll take on the Cycling Road and the Trick House. Thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, leave a comment, give a thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe if you want some more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, and now we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.